Beneath the world's oceans, hidden from sight, are some of the most advanced and secretive machines ever built, nuclear submarines. These silent guardians are both deterrents and threats, capable of moving undetected for months and carrying enough firepower to change history. Today we're diving into the world of these underwater titans focusing on the US and Russian fleets, two nations that have pushed submarine technology to its limits. We'll explore the philosophies behind their designs, the missions they serve, and the technology that lets them survive in the most hostile environment on Earth. From supernatural stealth to devastating firepower, we'll compare America's and Russia's finest, class by class. This is the story of a technological rivalry playing out in the cold, dark depths for over half a century. Meet the Ohio class, the backbone of America's nuclear deterrent. These boomers vanish beneath the waves, patrolling for months in secret. Their mission? Ensure a second strike capability. Stealth is everything. Each carries up to 20 Trident 2 D5 missiles, each with multiple warheads. The destructive power in a single hull is staggering. Crews rotate in blue and gold teams spending up to 90 days submerged. The remaining 14 subs continue silent patrols, the ultimate insurance policy. The Ohio class is a reminder of the stakes in modern geopolitics. Their mission is unchanged, patrol the depths, unseen and unheard. Their deterrence is their legacy. The Virginia class is America's silent hunter. Nuclear-powered fast attack submarines at the cutting edge of undersea warfare. Their missions are diverse, hunting enemy subs and ships, striking land targets, gathering intelligence and supporting special operations. Stealth is their hallmark, achieved through advanced anechoic coatings, a quiet S9G reactor, and a pump jet propulsor that minimizes noise. These subs can shadow fleets, tap undersea cables, and approach hostile shores undetected. Their sensor suite, spherical sonar, flank arrays, and a towed array gives them unmatched situational awareness. Armed with 12 vertical launch tubes for Tomahawk missiles and 4 torpedo tubes for MK-48 torpedoes, they can strike on land, sea, or beneath the waves. Special operations are a focus. A lockout trunk and support for mini-subs allow covert SEAL deployments. The photonic mast replaces the traditional periscope, using cameras and sensors to enhance command awareness. Controls are modern and intuitive, designed for a new generation of sailors. Each new block of Virginia-class subs brings technological upgrades, including the Virginia payload module for even more Tomahawk missiles. The class is steadily replacing the aging Los Angeles class, ensuring the U.S. maintains undersea dominance. The Virginia class is a multi-mission platform, hunter, spy, and strike asset in one. Its adaptability and stealth make it the Navy's premier undersea asset. It's a forward operating base beneath the waves. The Virginia class is the future of American submarine warfare, and it's here now. Before Virginia, there was the Seawolf class, arguably the most capable hunter-killer subs ever built. Designed at the end of the Cold War to hunt advanced Soviet subs under Arctic ice, Seawolf combines speed, depth, stealth, and firepower like no other. Exceptionally quiet even at high speeds, it uses advanced sound dampening and a pump jet propulsion system. Built from high-yield steel, it can dive deeper than any other U.S. attack sub, thriving in the ocean's abyss. Its eight large torpedo tubes can unleash a massive salvo, up to 50 weapons including torpedoes and Tomahawk missiles. Only three were built due to cost and the end of the Soviet threat. The USS Jimmy Carter, the third boat, features a unique hull extension for special missions, likely intelligence gathering and SEAL operations. The Seawolf class remains the apex predator of the US fleet, reserved for the most demanding missions. It's a rare breed, performance prioritized over cost. While Virginia is the modern workhorse, Seawolf is the thoroughbred, unmatched in speed, depth, and silence. These subs are a legacy of a time when only the best would do. Their capabilities may not be surpassed for years to come. Seawolf is the ultimate deep ocean predator, a ghost in the machine of global intelligence, and a testament to Cold War engineering. The Los Angeles class was the backbone of the U.S. attack subfleet for decades, with 62 built since the 1970s. Fast and versatile, they escorted carrier groups and hunted Soviet subs during the Cold War. Over time, upgrades improved their stealth, sensors, and land attack capability. Later boats added vertical launch systems for Tomahawk missiles, transforming them into strike platforms. Their main weapon remains the Mark 48 torpedo, 
but they can also lay mines and gather intelligence. Los Angeles-class subs have seen action in conflicts from the Gulf War to Libya. Now aging, they're being replaced by the Virginia class, but many still serve as reliable workhorses. Their legacy is one of adaptability and endurance. They held the line during the high-stakes undersea games of the Cold War. The Los Angeles class is a living link to a pivotal era in naval history, and their influence endures in every new U.S. submarine. Enter the Bore class, Russia's modern answer to the Ohio class and the future of its sea-based nuclear deterrent. After years of decline, the Bore represents a leap in Russian submarine technology, especially in stealth. It's the first Russian sub to use a pump jet propulsor, making it far quieter than its predecessors. The Bore's mission strategic deterrence, patrolling protected bastions and guaranteeing a retaliatory strike. Each carries 16 Bulava missiles, each with multiple warheads, dozens of targets at risk from a single sub. The design is pragmatic, with early boats using recycled hull sections and later ones featuring further improvements. Crew comfort is improved, with amenities like gyms and saunas to ease long patrols. Bori-class subs are rapidly replacing the aging Delta IVs, ensuring Russia's deterrent remains credible. They signal Russia's commitment to maintaining major nuclear power status. Quiet, modern and deadly, the Borai class is the new guardian of Russia's strategic ambitions. Their presence is a clear statement of intent. The Bori class is the spearhead of Russia's undersea resurgence, and a formidable rival beneath the waves. The Delta IV class, a Cold War giant, remains the backbone of Russia's sea-based deterrent. With a distinctive missile hump and double-hulled design, these subs have patrolled since the 1980s. They carry Seneva and Laner liquid-fueled missiles upgraded for range and countermeasures. Modernizations have kept them relevant, but they're noisier than newer subs and rely on operating in defended home waters. Delta IVs have resumed regular patrols, playing a central role in Russia's nuclear posture. As Borai-class subs enter service, the Delta IVs will be phased out. For over three decades, they've carried the weight of Russia's deterrence. They are the old guard, soon to pass the torch. The Yasin class is Russia's answer to the Virginia and Seawolf, its most formidable attack submarine yet. Combining hunter, killer and land attack roles, Yasin is a true multi-mission platform. Its advanced sonar suite and spherical bow array rival Western designs giving it 360-degree awareness. Armed with 10 torpedo tubes and 8 vertical launch silos, it can fire supersonic Onyx, Kaliber cruise missiles, and potentially the hypersonic Zircon. This makes Yasin a threat to carrier groups and land targets alike. Western Navy's respect its stealth and firepower, it's a peer-level threat. Expensive and complex, only a few will be built, but each is a high-end predator. The Yasin narrows the acoustic gap with the West, signaling a new era in Russian undersea warfare. It's the new face of Russian power beneath the waves, sophisticated, heavily armed, and demanding respect. The Yasin class is a game-changer, and it's only just begun. Before Yasen, the Akula class was Russia's primary hunter-killer, quiet, fast, and heavily armed. Its stealth shocked Western navies, spurring the development of the Seawolf class. Double-hulled and resilient, Akulas carry a mix of torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and even massive wake-homing torpedoes for targeting carriers. Later variants rivaled early Los Angeles-class subs in quietness. Some were leased to India, expanding their influence. Though aging, Akulas remain a potent part of Russia's fleet, undergoing upgrades to extend their service. Their legacy proving Russia could match Western stealth and changing the undersea balance of power. The Akula taught the hunters to be even more careful. Its influence is seen in every new Russian sub, the predator that forced the world to listen. From America's silent boomers to Russia's modern predators, the deep ocean is a battlefield of technology and strategy. The U.S. focuses on stealth and sensor superiority. Russia emphasizes power, depth, and weapon diversity. Modern Russian subs like Beret and Yasin have closed the stealth gap, making the rivalry fiercer than ever. Both sides rely on nuclear power for endurance, limited only by food for their crews. This silent duel pushes the boundaries of possibility. Which submarine class impresses you most, the Ohio, Virginia, Seawolf, Bore, or Yasin? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Subscribe for more military tech comparisons.